Dr. John Dispenza é o autor, é autor best-seller do New York Times, pesquisador, conferencista e consultor corporativo. Ele realiza uma brilhante interface entre ciência e espiritualidade, integrando com maestria os conhecimentos da física quântica, neurociência e epigenética para explorar a ciência por trás das remissões espontâneas. Ele usa esse conhecimento para ensinar as pessoas a curar seus corpos de problemas de saúde, fazer mudanças significativas em suas vidas e desenvolver sua consciência. Desde 2010, ele está com uma equipe de cientistas para pesquisar os efeitos da meditação no coração e nas funções cerebrais, na resposta imunológica e na saúde geral da mente e do corpo. Dr. Joe, é um imenso prazer apresentar o seu trabalho para o público brasileiro, especialmente aos meus seguidores, que já viram falar de você muitas vezes. Dr. João Dispenza, eu gostaria que você falasse sobre essa atual crise do coronavírus. Né? As crises normalmente têm algo a nos ensinar. Né? Isso são crises cíclicas e a gente está passando por uma grande crise mundial que conecta o mundo todo em função de um vírus. Como é que você, qual o seu olhar para esse momento atual e quais são as sugestões que você dá a nível de superação e de aprendizado? Well, I believe that the body absolutely has an innate capacity to heal. And I think that people, Wallace, that learn the truth about how their body functions will have more empowerment to realize that <clears throat> when they react in fear, we've done the research on this, do you think fear strengthens your immune system or weakens your immune system? Fear weakens your immune system, and it's a scientific fact. So a person who's reacting to all the conditions in their environment in fear, the response to the environment is actually weakening them to all kinds of conditions in their environment, and they'll be more susceptible to viruses and bacteria because their immune system has been downregulated. I mean, if you're living in emergency mode all the time, It's a, those bacteria, those viruses, bacteria are called opportunistic bacteria because they're waiting for an opportunity for your immune system to be compromised. So then if we're reacting to everyone and everything and the organism, the human body is becoming weaker, then it makes sense Then you'll be more susceptible con to conditions in your environment. So number one, learn the truth about your body. Does that mean not take the necessary precautions? No, honor it as it is, but by the same means, don't give your power away to something outside of you. So we have research to show that four days of gratitude, just feeling gratitude for four days, can strengthen your immune system by 50% to make the exact antibody, the exact immunoglobulin that fights bacteria and viruses in your body, it's better than a flu shot. So then when the person is self-regulating and choosing how they're controlling their inner environment independent of their outer environment, they'll be less sick. And viruses tend to attack people who have uh, pre-morbid health conditions that are on certain drugs or medications that are maybe elderly and have, are fighting a health condition already. Uh, the virus preys on people that are already out of physical, chemical, or emotional balance. So then if there's three types of stress, physical, chemical, and emotional, there must be three types of balance, physical, chemical, and emotional. And if people start taking care of themselves physically, whatever that is, taking care of themselves chemically, making the right choices, taking their vitamins, taking zinc, taking vitamin D, forgiving people that in their past that betrayed them so they don't hold on to the emotions that keep their body out of balance. I guarantee you they'll be less prone uh, to infection. They'll be less prone uh, to disease. Now we are working with universities <clears throat> in the United States and we have some amazing preliminary data uh, that shows that <laughs> you can strengthen your immune system so that you are immune Uh, to viruses and and that's not something that's new the human body has been doing that for thousands of years and so let's learn the truth about our body whether it's coming from 
uh, a virus, a COVID is coming from a virus that was created in the Wuhan lab, that it's 5G or that it's genetically modified or it's, it's a cross between a bat and a pangolin, uh, wh whatever your belief is of what it is and where it's come from, you still have a better chance of being immune to that virus by making sure that you know how to self-regulate, to manage your inner world so that you are immune to the challenges and conditions that take place in your outer world. Very, very nice. Dr. Joe, thank you very much for, the, for this brilliant in, in, interview.